హలో హాయ్ హాయ్ ఎవ్రీబడి నమస్కారం ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ సో యూ గైస్ జస్ట్ హ్యావ్ లుక్ ఎట్ మీ ఫర్ దిస్ ఫర్ దిస్ నెక్స్ట్ టెన్ మినిట్స్ so i just wanted to ask you before i start off like how many of you guys you know you, uh, when you're in college people say do you have a have a vision have a five year plan 10 year plan or something just raise your hands how many of you guys have that like it's, i see three hands <laughs> it's okay so it's okay i guess in college you don't have to know so much but um okay so anyway my name is uh, nagashwin i make uh, i think i'll hold this i make uh, films and uh, uh, i come from a family of doctors and a couple of engineers so you can imagine how hard it was to convince them that i want to make films and uh, this was in now this was a long time back this was almost uh, 15 years back when i finished school or something so uh, so it took a while and finally uh, after i finished my mass com they uh, I, the the midway point for them was uh, you know you have to go study if you don't study there's no point you can't i was like well, you can't really study films they were like no no you need a degree with a degree you can't it doesn't make sense so uh, so i went uh, and i did a small course in nyfa in new york because at that point i was watching only hollywood films so i thought it's a great that i get to go to the us and study so i went and uh, i made a couple of films a couple of short films uh, which did which were good like one of the thesis films that was screened in a auditorium like this got like a, a standing ovation i was like really kicked i got a small job there and i was like you know it was, uh, it was all going according to plan and then uh, and then i think something happened and uh, this movie called uh, swadesh released which is very annoying because it had this really catchy soundtrack okay and it was all about coming back to your country finding your roots and all that and uh, and i had to like and i just realized that my short films like were all uh, you know it just had uh, white guys like all american people talking american stuff and there was not even one indian guy in my film <laughs> so i was like okay i'm i'm fitting in i'm making my own space or whatever but this is not honest so uh, so i put on my uh, earphones uh, and sat on the window seat of air india and i came back listening to <laughs> swadesh i came back to india came back to hyderabad and uh, i think uh, that was those are the years of like hardcore like faction films okay like uh, all like the, they were doing really well so i landed in hyderabad and i had no idea what to do basically like uh, nobody was understanding what i was saying i wasn't understanding what was working uh, in the theaters so uh, it took so i worked with uh, shekhar kamla the only director who i could kind of see eye to eye with and uh, worked for a while and then it took me a long time to make to convince somebody and somebody came forward to make a film like before that the narrations were hilarious like me trying to explain what i was trying to make to people so finally it happened and i made a film which was which was like a travel film like an existential comedy in the himalayas i don't know how the producers thought this would work so we went ahead we did it we released it uh, there was no space for that sort of a film like nobody had done something like that and this wasn't like now where you know new age films are making money or whatever like it was, it was like a new guys like vijay devakonda was so big was a new guy everybody was new there i was new and uh, so we released that movie and that movie did well it actually made money and that actually started like a process of more and more filmmakers coming out and making successful films uh on on uh, stories that didn't have to be like mainstream and 3 uh, years later again i made a film we made a film called mahanati which was a biopic on a female superstar a period film which again didn't have any prerogative like no uh, example before there was the first uh, first biopic uh, in south india at least um so again we had no idea how that would do that did well again it did uh, it was so successful that now it's now everybody's making a biopic so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it might i don't know it might be good also but so so that so that's happening and uh, and then i just suddenly was like reflecting like how long uh, has it been since i went to that film school uh, and uh, and then i realized it's actually like since then to mahanati it's actually it's been a 12 year uh, journey so 12 years is uh, is a long time and then i remember uh, reading uh, uh, watching a video actually a video uh, where it says something about swami vivekananda he says uh, 
you know give me 12 years of your life uh, you know be a brahmachari or you know be like do a certain sadhana for 12 years and you can you know be like a superhuman sort of thing like uh, you can be a superman like that sort of a video so that's that's his idea is like give me 12 years of unbroken uh, focus so I, i was like okay that's interesting 12 years and then i remember reading somewhere else that you know uh, 12 years is considered one period of tapas for sadhus so they say for 12 years if you do unbroken like un uh, un uh, distracted tapas for 12 years you actually get siddhis like superpowers like you know x men and stuff like that so that is that's crazy so i thought that's another 12 year uh, example so i thought okay so what what next uh, i thought you know this number 12 is coming up everywhere you know you have 12 months in a year you have the clock has two 12 hour cycles uh, uh what else the pandavas went for one of us for 12 years uh, i don't know something else i thought oh there's an oscar winning movie 12 years as a slave so i thought this is like this is like a pattern okay i thought so i need to figure out what this 12 year uh, cycle was um, maybe it has something to do with uh, uh and 12 years of education right like first to 12th class and anyway, anyway so that sort of a thing and i uh, and i thought i'll just check up on people like who i really uh, thought was successful like whether it has anything to do with them so sachin picked up a bat when he was 4 and when he was 16 he was in the indian cricket team 12 years and okay so deepika padukone's first movie was 2006 and uh, the, the biggest female film was padmavati this year 12 years again so it crossed it crossed 500 crores it's a big thing so anyway so that uh, what else stanley kubrick's first movie was 1953 and 12 years later he was making a film called 2001 a space odyssey which is still considered like the best film by a lot of people what else uh, you guys know steve jobs got kicked out of apple and uh, it took him 12 years to come back to apple like from 85 to 1997 he was out of apple then he came back and he created the iphone and the ipad so so yeah, so i thought what is this amazing this 12 year uh, journey that some people be, seem to be on and uh, i just uh, realized that you know the you know there's in yoga people use this word called sadhana a lot sadhana just means pra- focus and practice so when you have you know a certain amount of focus and you practice the same thing over and over again whatever field you're in you will in doubtedly get uh, really good at it like whether it's playing the piano tennis whatever it is uh, so but that is something we uh, forget about 12 years like half of us can't go 12 minutes without checking our whatsapp or like something of that sort so our focus is definitely uh, at a disadvantage nowadays and uh, I was I was asked to speak at uh, at another uh, college a few months ago and there I talked about uh, there I talked about like how uh, we all have a certain amount of energy in us every day like when we get up in the morning we have a certain amount of energy and then uh, how we choose to use that energy is uh, our wish so what I th- I thought I got a prop one second sorry so i had i had I, they gave me this on the back stage so it's like a battery okay like say like every day we get up with uh, say 12 volts 12 because i'm talking about you so let's say it's a uh, 12 volts every day that we get up with and we can choose to use it however we want if you're spiritual you can meditate and try to find something if you're a musician if you're a sports person you're a inventor you guys are into engineering you want to create something great that's how much energy you have to use every day and the problem is uh, uh, in uh, we probably the first generation in history or in society who don't really have our uh, choice in like how we use our energy because every time from when we get up in the morning to when we sleep we are bombarded with some distraction or the other which we don't ask for uh, which comes in terms of advertising which comes in terms of consumerism which comes in terms of uh of course the most uh, powerful weapon that these people have against us this is our 4g smartphones which everybody has here so uh, it you don't even have to ask for it it will distract you so you have 12 volts that you can use for something uh you probably use two or three at the most every day so uh, so the rest of it is going away like your insta you're thinking about something else you're thinking about like most of the things which have nothing to do with this amazing goal that these three four people had here 
so so what i think uh, i want to say is 12 years right now might seem like a long time but uh, but you know you can start small start with 12 minutes a day if you want uh, because 12 is a nice number so it's just start with 12 minutes a day with whatever you're doing uh, have a goal for 12 weeks have a goal for 12 months and uh, 12 years trust me man it passes before you know it like uh, like you guys are what probably 20 right now and uh, and if you really work at it maybe before you know it you guys will be the next uh, you can build the next electric car you can build you can do whatever you want like uh, and the only thing that is keeping us away from uh, all our possibilities that this generation has because this generation has access to knowledge but we don't have access to focus the previous generation could be very focused but we didn't have google with us so we people uh, didn't have access to knowledge so just consciously think of this magical uh, 12 year plan which i just told you about and you could be such in deepika stanley kubrick steve jobs um, anything um, i look forward to seeing you guys in 12 years bye